Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm glad to have you guys here. I have two giveaways going on at the moment. One is for a Shroud G Pro Wireless, which Vast is hosting for me. And I also have a Valhalla Assassin's Creed themed Viper Mini with a keyboard. And both of those giveaways are going on at the moment. Um, links will be in the description below. Thank you guys for stopping by. Today I will be painting a glorious Model O Wireless. I believe it's the first one in the world and it's for Ricky. He is a Spanish streamer and YouTuber. Thank you guys, enjoy. Okay, these pins, you have to put them up. And then they come off. Up. And they come off. This one, you have to just pull. And this one here. Hello guys, this is Coco. Today we're going to replace the sanding process of the video. We're going to host a video from our friend Fresh. He's a Predator player of Apex. He's going to review the mouse and we're going to have an awesome gameplay of it too. Let us know in the comment if you like this type of video to do all the video like this in the future. So this is my first mass review and I wanted to do this because Glorious is uh, really a company that is coming out with some products that are just totally destroying the market. But it comes in a nice little packaging. You open it up, you've got your glorious mouse. You've got your wireless dongle. But I'm looking at the mouse, it's actually a uh, very durable build. I mean, you can squeeze, you can hold this thing as tight as possible and this thing is not going to creak at all. You've got no bottom flex anywhere on the bottom of the mouse. The clicks on my copy are phenomenal. I have Kel 8.0s in my Logitech uh, limited edition, which are extremely clicky and feel fabulous. But out of the box, the glorious clicks are very comparable to a custom modded Logitech G Pro. Side clicks feel phenomenal. I've got no pre-travel, got no post-travel. I got no pre or post on the left click, no pre or post on the right click. The middle mouse is very tactile, but also very silent, very easy to uh, scroll up and down. And the middle mouse button is very easy to depress and has a nice tactile feedback. I'm a former Apex Predator. Haven't played a whole lot this season, but let's test out the mouse and see how it goes. I cracked her. Red one. Come on. Nice. I'm 
anybody using this mouse or looking to use this mouse for $80 is really in for a treat. I mean, you're looking at something that performs just as good as the Logitech G Pro Wireless, half the price. Uh, you're looking at a mouse that's only 69 grams advertised on the box, which seems to be true out of the box. The clicks are phenomenal. And if you look on my copy, I've got no side travel. Very minor travel if you hold down as hard as you can on the left click. No wobble at all. You've got no issues with side flex. And the buttons are just phenomenal. The shape, you can either palm comfortably, depending on your hand size. It's great for fingertip. Honestly, if you were to ask me, who is this mouse for? I think this mouse is uh, really for anybody uh, looking to game either in games such as MOBAs, uh, first person shooters. The mouse is uh, extremely lightweight, so you're looking at less fatigue in games such as League of Legends. Um, and for 80 bucks, a wireless mouse, if you like uh, MOBAs, I mean, it's, come on, it's a phenomenal mouse with ex excellent clicks. If you're in first person shooters, the mouse comes with PTFE feet that are extremely good. Not only that, you can upgrade to the uh, G floats if you wanted to. Not necessary at all, uh, but you're looking at great clicks, lightweight, awesome RGB, great tracking, and a Model O shape that a lot of us have tried. Um, and going wireless uh, without the cable definitely changes the feel of the mouse. Obviously not the hand feel, mouse you know it's the same shape as the Model O uh, but you don't have that cable that you have to deal with and worry about when you're flicking your mouse when you're moving your mouse either with your arm or your wrist so it really does change how the uh, feel of the mouse uh, feels as you're tracking and flicking um, and you're not worrying about that extended uh, piece off the mouse um, so it really does add a lot to the mouse and at $80 um, I think that Glorious is really bringing products into the market um, that all of us can really access that are accessible to the masses um, and just a extremely, extremely good performer. Um, I think we're all kind of excited for the Logitech uh, G Pro Superlight, but at $150, you really have to ask yourself, uh, one, if that shape is really something that you enjoy, um, you know, get the Superlight. Um, but if the Model O wireless and a little bit flatter of a shape uh, works for you and you feel that this is something that uh, you would perform well with all day, every day, I would say get the Model O wireless. So thanks guys for stopping by and uh, if you guys would like a comparison review of the Model O wireless, the Logitech G Pro and the Aerox, let me know in the comments and I'll try to come out with another video.
Thanks for watching guys remember to check the description and go to the giveaways and subscribe to the channel of fresh